How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, we're going to try to catch some more rainwater. We have a 275 gallon tote here. We're going to be using it to catch water and then we're going to pipe it into the garage, run it through a pump right out the front so we can wash our cars for free. This thing's going to save us a lot of money on being able to wash our tractors, our cars, water our garden. Of course, you guys know we got one barrel out there on the chicken coop and it's working out great for water in the garden. This here is going to be nice for in the garage. We're going to run it through a filter system. We're going to run it through a pump. Probably even put us a small hand washing sink in there. We'll have our own water right here in the garage and it'll all be free. So I'm just basically leveling up this tote. We got some storms coming in. I don't know if I can get this thing hooked up tonight, but I'm going to do my best to get as much as I can done. And I think we're looking up pretty good now. I've got some blocks down here. I got them leveled up. We're going to move the gravel around and see if we can get it set in there. Hopefully I'm lined up okay. We want to try to keep our tote as level as we possibly can to maximize the amount of water that we can get inside of it. If it's on level, then you're probably not going to get as much in that tank as you can if it was level. So make sure you check it a couple times. Make sure everything is level. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and try to set our tote down in there. Hopefully it lands on them block. That is pretty much perfect. We're dead level. See our bubble? We want to make sure it's in the middle. Good bubble in the center. That's what we like to see. Now in the past, I have worked with these 200 and 75 gallon totes before if you watch some of my old videos on the old homestead We had three of these guys linked together and we watered everything We ran the pressure washer off of it washed our house washed our car watered our gardens watered our cows The chickens everything came off of three of these totes and it worked great That system was gravity fed this one here is gonna have a pump on it uh, We're gonna have to have a pump uh, on part of it. So if that makes any sense. So now if you're working with these totes, you'll see this big black lid on the top. Now this lid has threads in it. So a piece of white PVC uh, drain pipe will fit right inside of this. A lot of the new totes that I've seen, this drum did not come with this lid. This is an older lid. Uh, somebody traded me my lid for this lid. So later in the video, you'll see why I wanted threads in this top. So look around, you're able to find these with two inch threads in them. This is what you want right here. Well, we're gonna get started on our uh, filter for our 375 gallon tank that we're gonna be catching the rainwater on. 
and I showed you guys the new lid that we got. It's actually not new, it's an old lid, but we're going to be using this lid because it has them threads in there. And I went through all my old junk that we had laying around from the leftovers from building the house, and I think we got this thing figured out. I think Julie's going to maybe give me a hand for a little bit here. But this piece here, this two inch uh, piece, this is the male two inch will screw into this, like so. And then I cut off a piece of two inch small piece of pipe. This will go in here. Then this is a reducer from four to two. We'll go in here and then we're going to build our filter for the inside of this, but we have to be able to take the filter out and put it back in because we need to clean the garbage out of the inside of it. And this will go down on top of here and our filter will be in here and we're going to try to get all of our drain pipes to go into this one hole. Hopefully we can get this to work. But right now I need to build this filter. And th this is the second line of defense from like garbage getting into our tank because on the gutters, on the gutters I have like a quarter inch mesh that covers the hole where it goes down so we don't get no debris from there. That's the bigger stuff. This one's gonna catch it a little bit smaller and then once we get it into the building, there's gonna be a paper filter. And we're not worried about charcoal filters. We're not worried about that. We just wanna to try to get the big debris out of it. We're not drinking this water. We're gonna wash the cars, yeah. water the plants, the chickens and whatnot uh, here in the garage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of this screen this is aluminum or a metal i think it's aluminum screen we're going to cut a piece and then we're going to twist it into a funnel and hot glue this thing together so it fits in this thing but don't go all the way to the bottom as close as we can to the bottom but not all the way so we need to plug this in huh yeah get that thing heated up all right. if you uh, want let's get an extension cord that one okay yeah that'll be fine and stretch it over here so it's on a table i'm going to see what it's going to take to get us a piece of this twisted into a funnel and we can't go I mean I think what we could do is get it twisted up it might be kind of hard huh yeah well I'm just trying to see how big a funnel I can get out of it because it's got to be up in there I think I need a, a little bit wider to the towel huh. So this might be a tricky thing to do, I think. Mm -hmm. So if we put that down in there, like. we don't want it to cool. I'd like to know how much of this I need to cut off. So if I went right here, let me see. Where's the scissors? Oh, uh, in the room in there. This piece is a little too big, yeah. so yeah, hanging behind the drill press there up on the wall. See them there? Let's get this thing down just a little bit smaller on its size. And then we'll go from there. It don't look like it's going to be any further up than this one right here. Somewhere in here. I think we got enough here to do a couple if we have to. I wouldn't mind having an extra one. So, let's do, let's do this again. Well done. Let's see, we can... Do it bigger. No, let it go okay. big. Big. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like that. Yeah. And then once we get it figured out, you can. Yeah. We'll see. It's, it's only going to go up to about there, but I'm thinking. What if you cut it off like right in there? Well. You think? I mean, just for now, and then we can shorten it a little more. But I don't want it to be too. Yeah. Too short. Too short. I think that's going to work. Okay. That should give us... So we're going to hot glue this thing? Yeah, what we're going to do is hot glue right through the screen. Okay. And we'll work our way up, but it'll have to cool as we're going. So, so you want to... I want to make that as fat now, as Now, <clears throat> like a... This, huh. this, you... We want it all hot glue. Okay. All the way up want, that seam. You don't want the stuff coming out the bottom. Right. So, so I can bend that over, yeah. So we just folded the tip of it over, and that's yeah. going to help hold it together. Um, hold on, I'm and trying to... And then once Julie gets her... Glue gun. 
This is going to work. Even if it's a little bit longer, it's not going to hurt. You can always bend that tip up if you need to. I did. No, it's good, I think. Okay. Okay. It seems like Let's it's... Let's do a piece like right in here. I want to work on... Right yeah, through. right. I want to go right in both screens. I want to go ahead and squish it right through the screen. Watch your fingers. Come over my way a little bit. This stuff gets hot. should set up, right? Yeah. Let it cool. Should I rub it? <laughs> no, it should be alright. <laughs> oh, this stuff is messy. Okay. It's like That's... a spider web. Oh. Okay, so... Just go down through there. Okay, yeah. Watch Put your dots. Fingers. Put dots, like right in here now. <laughs> Yeah, kind of get it, to, yeah, get it to go down in there. Just a little bit, come over, yeah, you want to work it on both sides. Now let me push yeah, it together. Yeah, okay. This is just to hold it. It's like a spot well. Don't have to be big. Ooh. I'll let that dry just a second. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this stuff is like, when you get a spider web on your hands or something, look at this. <laughs> okay, do me another one. Same distance down. Okay. Make sure you go yeah, on both sides a little bit. There you go. Kind of get there you go. Now you're squishing it down in. That's that's cooking with Crisco. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to go. Watch oh, your fingers. Didn't. Okay, so our piece is not beautiful, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. And the the purpose of me putting a cone in here is because the small debris is going to keep building up, building up, building up, building up, building up, and it's still going to run out the sides of this. Hopefully, I'm hoping it works. Uh, that way, it'll have to get all the way up to the top of that. You'll just have to check it every Yeah, you'll have to check it. it. So it'll get up to the top of that pipe right there, and hopefully, I can actually squeeze this down in there. I think I can. Get it down in there further? Yeah, because it'll it can go down into the tank. It can go down into that, yeah. this piece here. We don't care if it goes down into there. And then get it down there far enough. And then we're going to have to either cut it off or bend it over. I don't know. See if you can. Yeah, there you go. If we get it bent over like that. If you have a rubber band or something, you can stick around it. Or a zip tie. Even a zip tie would help hold it in place. Well, I want to be able to pull this guy out yeah, clean and then it, knock it. it out, wash it out, and then put it back in here. And I don't know if I want to put anything on it. I think it's, it's good. good. Yeah. I think it's going to hold itself right there. Okay. I mean, I could actually bend that a little sharper by hand here. Just to kind of ensure that it doesn't go. I think that's going to work. It'd be nice if I could cut that off a little Trimming. prettier. <laughs> Just make it look a little prettier. That's good. Look at that. I think that's going to work. So now... You just have to glue all that together? I'm not going to glue any of this oh, together. Oh, okay. I mean, for Case right now... To... Yeah, just because I want to tee off of this. I may want to tee off of this. Mm -hmm. And go over to the other tank. I want to put another tank in. So, oh, that's true. So if we do two tanks, what I'll do, if I do two tanks, I'll take this apart and this piece right here, in the middle here, I'll put a T in there. So it'll run over to another barrel and fill up another barrel. And that's the reason why you want the threads inside this piece. If you can get that cap with the threads in there, this will literally fill full of water, flow over to your next tank, and then fill your next tank. Unless you have two tanks linked together at the bottom, they'll fill actually from the bottom too. So I'd much rather fill mine from the top. That way I can shut one tank off, use from one tank, and then turn the other tank and use from the other tank. So we're going to start working on this because we have rain coming, and I want to get this thing set up to where we can uh, catch some of that water. Yeah.
So we're going to get ready to uh, open up our cover and get it put on the tote. Now you're going to notice one side of your tote is going to have a split on it. So we're going to have to find this. Here's the top, I think. Your top is going to have a opening on it, so you want to find your top. I'm not seeing any split. Oh wait, here it is. The zipper. Find a split? Yeah, okay. it has a zipper. So once you find your zipper that's going to go on your, uh, line up with your valve over there, let's go ahead and stick the tote cover on. Well, you have to unzip it faster. Make it easier. Now that you got your tote cover on, your zipper is right where your valve needs to be. It also has a drawstring on the bottom to tighten up around there. So you have a couple straps right here on the sides with buckles on them. And they are very stretchy, so they'll go around each one of the legs. That's going to help the, from the wind blowing it off. So now that is nice and tight on there. It's not going to come off. Make sure you have it tucked in underneath of your leg. So we'll go ahead and get all the other sides done. Okay, and on the top, you have a Velcro lid for the top of this, and this is where you're going to fill it up. And what the nice thing is about this thing, it's going to help keep the UV rays off of it and keep it from getting a bunch of algae built up inside of it. And I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below if you want one of these tote covers. Uh, pretty awesome. I think this is going to help us out a lot and we're also going to be putting another tank on the inside of the house or inside the shop there's a 60 gallon tank that's going to go in there this will actually be pumped into the shop into another tank through a filter system right out the front to wash our cars and stuff this is going to be great for us because here on the homestead water is expensive and this is cheap so we got to get our filter put on there and get this pipe put on today because we want to make sure we catch this rain or rain that's coming this weekend okay so here's where our filter is going to go we're not going to be gluing any of this together we're going to leave it like it is in case we want to change things around later but what we need to do now is get that gutter to go into this hole that's what we're going to work on next Okay, now we got some old pieces of pipe here. They're a little bit rough, but we're going to use them anyhow. They're going to work just fine for us. Uh, but one thing, uh, I know a lot of people will just smash these to get them to go in. And uh, you can pick up this tool, this little tool right here. It actually makes your grooves in this. So you can take this guy and slide it in here and then crimp this down and you can make it so it will go inside your gutter instead of bending that thing all the, I don't know what, you can just use these guys and go around and it will bend that pipe so it fits right inside of your other pipes, like so. That's how you get it in there. I'll leave a link in the description down below find a set of these on Amazon they're actually a pretty cool tool for this type of stuff for gutters or if you're doing chimney pipe any kind of thin pipe this stuff works this that tool works great so I think we have enough pieces here we're gonna get ready to start putting this thing together oh uh, we're gonna come down off of this with Let's see. I'm gonna come down. Well, I'll put that on. That's gonna get us over to there. I think. I think this is going to work. We might have to shorten this down a little bit, but that's going to get us to go into that drain there. We might have to shorten this piece. So I'm going to get a measurement on this and see if I can get this cut up and 
get it on. That really does look like it's gonna work. It's gonna get that water to run right out there. Now I think we probably should put some screws or something in there to hold it into place. This might be just a temporary fix, I'm not sure yet. Cause we're gonna be bringing a gutter from the other side of the garage, clear on the other side of the shop. We're gonna bring it all the way across and do the same thing. And we want them all to go inside of this one tank. So I think this should be a pretty good temporary fix until we can get the rest of the stuff set up and hopefully this thing will start catching water. Okay, this is our first line of defense on keeping the leaves out. This goes over that end over there where the gutter hooks on. I always keep this over the top. Water will, if it plugs up on this side, it will go over top of it and filter through this until the whole thing gets plugged. So that keeps the big debris out of here. Now we have the screen in here. We have this, and then this is a little bit smaller. You know, eventually we might figure up another way of filtering it to get as much as we possibly can out of it. But right now this is gonna have to do. Okay, I'm going to get where this filter goes down in here. And I'm going to cut this. I'm gonna make a little slice in this. So I could push that down over top of there. And what I'm gonna do is heat up this carpenter knife blade and hopefully it'll kind of melt it as it cuts it. Cause we don't want to rip it. Okay, I think we did pretty good there. Now we'll be able to put our cover on there and make sure it covers the whole entire thing here. Now we can put our filter back up in there. Like so. So now that's going to keep any sun from hitting that part. And uh, a big problem with these is the algae you get in there. And that's why we wanted this cover on here. Keep the algae out of it. Okay, our tote is temporarily hooked up right now uh, to start collecting rainwater. Uh, 300 and, or 275 gallons of water in this tote. This is going to be actually really nice here in the garage because we don't have water out here. But this is going to help us be able to wash our hands, maybe wash a car or the tractors off, and, and not have to pay for that water. This is actually going to be pretty nice. Well, last night we got a bunch of rain. And early this morning before daylight, I come out and cleaned this screen out. And it did catch a lot of stuff. So I'm going to check it again. You can see the debris in there. Look how much debris. And that's all out of the gutters and off the roof. It's doing a really good job on catching the big debris so it doesn't get into our tank. I really like this setup. I think it's gonna really work out nice. And this is nice because I can remove this. If I can't move this, if I can't move this, I can always move this. Just pull it up out, 
and clean my filter and put it back in. But it's really working good. Now down here, let's just look and see how much water we got. I don't know if you can tell the difference. We're up to this first metal ring right here. You can see it right, right there. Right there is where it is. You can see it moving around in there. So we got that much water from there all the way down just last night in one rain. That wasn't a big, it wasn't a big rain, but it was enough to get us some water in there. A few more rainstorms and this thing will be overflowing. Well, the filter is working out great. The one on the top and the one on the bottom. Um, I had kind of lost a little bit of footage where we had got a big rain and it filled this tote completely up in one rain from where it was down on the bottom. You guys remember where it was down there. It filled this tote completely full in one rain on half of this shop. So we get the other gutter over here and get two of these totes up. I think we can fill them up pretty fast and have us plenty of water for inside the shop. The, uh, like I said, the filters are working great. The only thing is I have a lot of trees around here. And the trees, you know, got leaves on them, of course. And pollen comes off of them. And uh, it will get plugged up pretty quick. But I'm not cutting my trees down. I like my trees too much. So we're going to end this video. Uh, we're, hopefully we can get started on the inside not too long. I want to get that inside all plumbed up and get it done. And we'll bring you along for that. I'm going to leave a couple links in the description down below. Uh, Amazon links. As you guys know, I'm an Amazon associate. So I get a small commission off qualifying purchases, and it really does help out the channel, and we do appreciate you guys' support. Now, you don't have to buy what's, what, link, what we put in the link. All you have to do is go to the top of any of them links and click on uh, the search bar, search for what you want, and we may get a commission off of uh, qualifying purchases so that does help out the channel a lot and we do appreciate it and we'd like to tell everyone thank you for that uh, so we're going to go ahead and end the video and uh, hopefully not too long we'll get inside and get this thing plumbed up and show you how it's going to work inside so I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like until next time